So I'm um, I'm a New Yorker. I was born. I was I was born not very far away from where we're standing now. Um, <laughs> you know that. Um, you, you know it's it, it's funny. I was saying to Pharrell, um, almost everybody on this stage. As a matter of fact, almost everybody who's been in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, who's in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, I've worked with. <laughs> I, I, I started out, I was just a little kid on the, on, on the side of my bed, just playing guitar, hoping to get one hit record. Uh, Yo, it's three billion dollars now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah um, they just told me a couple of months ago that I've sold over 300 million albums and 75 million singles. I just wanted to have one hit record. Um, my life has been so amazing. When I met this gentleman named Bernard Edwards, a bass player who started out as a guitar player who had this interesting style of playing. And he told me about chucking. And he just says, man, you need to change your shit up. You got all this jazz knowledge, but like if you learn how to play this thing, we could like change music. And I was like going, oh, I didn't believe him until this young kid plugged into my amp that was our opening act. And he sounded 10 times better than me, but I knew that harmonically I knew more knowledge. I had more knowledge than he. And all of a sudden I said, okay, cool. I went and I traded my guitar, my expensive, big, fat jazz guitar, for this little Fender Stratocaster that was like for like 177 bucks. And it was ugly because I hate solid body sunburst guitars. So I adored Hendrix, so I went home and I painted it white myself. That same white paint job is the same paint job I did like 40 years ago. We were opening, we were the opening act for the Jackson 5. And from, from that journey, from working, from just being a backup guy, I have, I have... They think that I'm the boss, believe me. Every record I do, I join the band. I try and make every artist believe that all I have is their best interest at heart. I do not believe, you know, I, I remember saying to Madonna, I said to Madonna, when we finish this record, it's gonna say, Madonna, produced by Lyle Rogers. <laughs> My name doesn't mean shit, it's gonna be this big. This, this award, which is amazing to me, is really because of all the people that have allowed me to come into their lives and just join their band. Be it Mick Jagger, be it Madonna, be it Barry, be it the Beach of the Tunes, be it NXS, be it Jockpot, be it Corelli, be it Diana Ross, be it Sister Slam. I mean, this goes on and on and on.